Hi guys, this is Dexter 66 I'm hoping today to re-edit a video I did a while ago called Copy, Paste and Clone. Now this video was a demonstration on the different tools within Critter, which are available in other Photoshop tools or photograph editing tools. And I want to show you how you can use those tools to your benefit and trying to increase the speed of your workload. I'm going to try my best to demonstrate the three different methods of using copy and paste and including copy merge and some other stuff as well. So if you haven't used those tools before, check back in with the video at different stages. I'll try and put a marker on the video and then um, show you different techniques on which ones you can use. They're all beneficial depending on what you're doing and hopefully we can uh, increase that workflow and try and make you understand a little bit more the difference between copy, paste and then clone of an item. So first off, I'm going to grab myself some text just to demonstrate this. So first off, we're going to make a copy text. So we're going to go here, going to come in here, just going to say in here, I am a copy. I am a copy. All right. So I want to select my text right here. Change the color to white just so I can see it. Probably make it a bit bigger than that. Makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, it's a bold bit. Why not? We can do pick a funky text. I am a copy. There we go. Save. Close. So here you go. I am a copy. What I'm going to do there is I'm just going to add another layer to this, and it's called a transform mask. Now, transform mask just allows me to basically edit the size. So here we go. I am a copy. Brilliant. Let me just bring that a bit bigger so we can just handle it a little bit easier. Okay, so I am a copy. I'm going to copy this layer here by right clicking on the layer on the right hand side. I'm going to copy layer and then I'm just going to use Control V just to paste another copy of that. Alright, selecting our transform mask again on the new copy layer, we can then say move here. And then I'm going to do it once more just for good luck. I'm going to paste another layer again with our transform tool. We're going to select it. And then we're going to move it down here. I am a copy. I am a copy and I am a copy. Brilliant. Let's say I didn't want to say I am a copy anymore uh, during my documents. We've completed our documents and we've got the text and the colors and everything that we want to apply to it. But we, we made a mistake. Let's say we didn't want to say I am a copy and we wanted to say I'm a copy instead. Before we take a look at the clone tool, I wanted to show you guys the differences between the different types of copy within Critter. Now, Critter works on a layer system. That means there are several different pieces of paper collaged on top of each other in order to make your image. A common mistake within Critter is to just go ahead and hit File or Edit and Copy and you think you're copying the entire image. This isn't always so. Because it works on the layering system, we need to select either several different layers or several different pieces that we want to copy at once. So that might mean we might need to select all three in this scenario, or we just select the single layer that we want. But be careful that if you do want to copy a layer, that you don't copy the background as well. So let me show you what that kind of means. If I want to take a copy of this entire image, I'm going to select Edit, and then I'm going to select Copy, aren't I? And then I'm going to go Edit, and then I'm going to go Paste into New Image. Oh, well that didn't do exactly what I wanted. I just got I'm a copy. Why did this happen? Well, let's go back to our first one and have a look. These three versions of the I am a copy, I am a copy, I am a copy. Okay. Now, if I wanted to copy the entire image, what I want to do is make sure that I've completely selected everything. So in my instance, I'm going to use Control and A, and now I've actually selected everything that's within the visual space. I go on ed Edit, and I'm going to go down to Copy Merge this time. Instead of just going Copy, I'm going to Copy Merge, which means I'm going to copy all the layers that are visible. And I'm going to say Copy. Now when I go Edit, Paste into New Image, I've now got all three layers. Now this means that if I wanted to miss something out, I can simply make it invisible on this layer panel right here, and I'm not going to copy it. So here we go. I've made the background invisible. I'm going to go Edit. I'm going to go Copy Merged again. I'm going to go Edit, and then Paste into New Image. Boom. And I've only got those. Now this might be a bit difficult to see, so let me add a quick layer here and show you the background. So, ooh, click this button right here, this will add me a new layer, drag it underneath the other layer. I'm going to use my fill tool, which is located right here, grab my black, 
Boom. I am a copy. You can see it there. Pasted several times. Now there is better techniques to actually physically use that technique, but I didn't want to go through them all. But there you go. There's a quick example of why you can't see your text or why you can't see your um, part as you're trying to copy them over. In, um, so I've got the I am a copy here and I want to change this I am a copy. I want to do it for all three. Let's just say for the purposes of our project. So I need to go in here and I need to find my original layer which contains the text, which is this one. I'm going to select my text tool and then the box is going to show up here. I'm going to select the box and I'm going to say edit text. And I'm going to say I'm a copy instead. And I'm going to say save. And then I'm going to close it. Oh, well, I need to go and do it three times. I need to do all my copying and pasting at the same time. Now that mightn't be a problem and you mightn't mind doing that, but let's just pretend these are all full of complex different editations or whatnot. What can we do to make this work work faster? Well, we can use something called a clone tool. Now a clone tool takes an instance of a version of something that you've done and then puts a copy of the entire thing. But when we edit that copy in a clone scenario rather than a copy and paste scenario, it will update the subsequent pastes that we've done. So what does that look like? All right. So let's just say in this version, we'll do the same thing again. We're going to set up a document. We're going to say we want some text here. And then we started off with, I am a, I can't say clone, uh, copy this time, we're going to say clone. So in this time, we're going to say, I am a clone rather than a copy. So I am a clone. All right, we're going to make sure our text is in white because we, so we can see it because we're on a black background. We've got our text about the same size. And we're going to change our font right there just to make it nice and easy. Boom, I am a clone. All right, so going back in here, we're going to go and add our transform mask again. Let's go ahead and make this a decent size. Boom, I am a clone. Say it again. So I've got I am a clone. Now I'm going to make uh, another copy of this. So let me go Control V. I've added a copy at the top. I'm going to right click, add, transform mask. We've got our transform tool, and we're just going to place it around about right there. Okay. So we've got two of them now. All right. So I'm going to do it once more. I'm going to go Control V again, and now I've got two copies of it. I'm going to right click on this one, transform mask. Grab my clone and I'm going to stick it right here. So, whereas before, when we tried to edit the first one, the other two stayed exactly the same as they were. Now, with this clever little tool here, I can actually edit all three at once because it's an instance of the original, which basically means that everything I do to the original, it's going to do to the other two. Right? Okay? Sounds a bit complicated. Don't worry about it. Here we go. So now we're going to change our text. We've got our text tool active. We've selected inside our box here to get our original text. I'm going to say edit text. I'm going to do exactly as we did before. I'm going to take it from I am. So I am a clone. I'm going to say save. And then we're going to close it. Oh, all three are changed at once. And that's the benefit of using a clone over a copy and paste. It means the fact that we can edit multiple versions of the same thing at once without having to go back and do all the other editations that we've already done, like positioning and whatnot. It just makes life a bit easier. Now, clones do have some limitations and copy and paste do have some limitations, but it's always nice to note the fact that you can use a clone instead of a copy. As a quick side note, if you haven't got the clone tool activated, as in you haven't set it up yourself, because it doesn't come with a shortcut in its natural state, what you need to do is you need to go up to settings, configure critter. We're going to go to keyboard shortcuts. In the search bar at the top here, we're going to type clone. Now, as you can see, it comes up here, clone layer. And all you're going to do is you're going to apply a shortcut. Now, in my case, I can I applied Control Shift and V because it was easier for me. Now, you can make up your own shortcut or you can apply the same shortcut. It doesn't really matter. But go ahead and apply that shortcut, and then we can use that shortcut whenever we're going to paste in another clone. Not forgetting that when you place in a clone, not forgetting that when you place in a clone, that you need to use a transform mask in order to move it around. Otherwise, it's going to disappear. So if you put a laser clone in and then you've gone ahead and moved it and it's gone, 
it's because you didn't use a transform mask. So go back and grab a transform mask and then move it to its new position. Otherwise, it will only put it within the space of the original clone. Sounds a bit complicated, but for now, all you need to remember is you need to use a transform mask to move that clone around. All right.